Meta's Llama 3 was just released about a week ago today. So I thought it'd be fun to take a look at how is it at coding? Can it code a game and how does it compare uh, Meta's Llama 3 against ChatGPT's GPT-4 Turbo against uh, Claude, Claude 3 Opus against Gemini, against Copilot. So we're just going to dive in and find out. We're going to do a head-to-head -head battle to see which one of these large language models can code the best. All right. So what's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson, and this is our AI in five, part of everyday AI. So uh, almost every single day we do a uh, quick five minute tutorial, uh, show you how to use something in generative AI. It might be more like 10 minutes today. So let's just jump in without any further ado and get started. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, eventually we're just gonna be running this in Replit. Uh, so Replit is just a quick way to kind of uh, deploy code. I'm not a coder. I can you know write a little bit of you know HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript, a little bit of Python, but all we're gonna do here is paste in uh, a Python library and run it. So if you don't know, uh, you can just go into Replit, create a free account, and then you would just go in here and uh, go to templates and click Replit. All right, so let's just go to it. I have a very simple prompt here, and we're going to go, we're going to run all of the same prompt kind of at the same time in all of our different uh, models. And I'll show you what the prompt is. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy here, but we're just going to give all of these different models a second to run it. All right, apparently I'm not logged into... Uh, into Claude, I thought I was. So we'll get that logged in here as we let everything run. And then we're going to do a head to head battle. We're not going to go back and forth. Uh, if it doesn't spit it out, that means it, it fails. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see uh, how all of these fare. All right. So let's just make a check. Let's make sure everything's running. Uh, so we got everything running. Looks like some are already done. Uh, so chat GPT is almost done. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to go in order here. So Let's just start with Meta first. It looks like Meta finished pretty quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. I'm going to go over into our uh, into our Replit kind of repository. I'm going to make this a little bigger. We're just going to run the code. Um, then we're going to launch this full screen and see if it works. All right. So here is Meta. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to maximize this and let's see if it works. All right. Meta did a pretty good job. We have a working... Uh, game of Pong, a uh, little slow, but everything we asked for in the prompt uh, works just fine. So Meta uh, definitely, uh, Meta's Llama 3 passes the test. It's a little hard uh, on the edges there. You'll see the ball kind of disappears for a second. Um, I'm not worried about that. It's it's a little little slow, but again, it did the job. So Meta, Meta passes uh, with flying colors. So we're going to go ahead and stop that. Uh, so Meta passes. We're going to go into ChatGPT. So it looks like ChatGPT didn't finish generating uh, on the first one, which if you use uh, ChatGPT for coding, this is pretty pretty familiar. So we're just going to click Continue Generation, and we'll go ahead and uh, give that a second here to finish. Normally, it does this at the very end. I'm not sure why. Um, so we'll give it here a second, see if it's going to finish up. There we go. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this code. Uh, from chat GPT. And again, we're using the paid version for everything. Meta's free, uh, Microsoft Copilot, we're using the, the free version, but for everything else, we're using the paid version. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and paste this code in here. Um, I'm going to click run. And here is the chat GPT version. Well, let's see if it runs. All right, so it looks like this version, at least on first attempt, let me just go ahead and make sure that I uh, pasted that in correctly, copying the code. We're going over here. Let's go ahead and click run. All right, and it looks like, okay, there we go. All right, so it looks like we have it going here in, uh, in uh, ChatGPT. Super, super slow though. So did it pass? Maybe. Is it entirely too slow to play? Yes. Uh, but it's it's a working game nonetheless, so I don't know. I guess that's a pass-ish. All right, let's keep this thing going. Let's do the other ones. Let's go here into Gemini. Uh, so it looks like make sure we finished our code. Looks like we did. Uh, Gemini has the nice little copy button. Uh, I didn't even see this before. I don't know if this is new, but it looks like you can run the code natively. That's interesting. Um, so it says code successfully executed. Um, oh, okay. That's just to see the code output. Okay. So let's, I was going to say, I didn't know you could deploy uh, everything like a sandbox. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy this Gemini code. Now we're going to run over uh, into Replit. We're going to click stop on that slow code there. We're going to run this one and see if it works. All 
All right, so it looks like uh, with Gemini, looks like it doesn't really work. So uh, the computer, not only does the computer not move, uh, but it looks like also uh, the paddle, when it hits the ball, it just goes straight through. So Gemini pretty much fails there. Okay, so uh, let's keep going. And again, we're just doing zero shot here, copy, paste. This is not uh, the best uh, way to do a, a very, um, you know, this is not scientific more or less, right? We're just doing zero shot, just seeing if this works. All right, so now we have Claude code. Let's go ahead. We're going to put this into, uh, we need to stop this. Let's go ahead and run the Claude code. Uh, again, we're using Opus 3 here. All right, we got a very colorful variation. All right, looks like there was an error. So it looks like it started to play. Okay, interesting. We'll give it, uh, I'm going to click stop. Okay, looks like I can't even stop it. So that's interesting. I'm going to go ahead and just refresh the page. And let's see if we can... Uh, so the Claude code, it looks like it was maybe a little buggy here. And now we're, um, even when we try to refresh this, we are, we're not getting anywhere. So that's, that's interesting. I'm going to see if we can uh, get this going. So normally we like to do all this live, uh, but I don't know if this is a, a replit issue here or something else. So it says like there was an error. Okay. So let's just try this one more time. I want to make sure to give all the models a fair shot here. So I don't know if the Claude code was causing a uh, replit to kind of time out there. So it looks like for whatever reason, it was not working. I'm just going to double check here to make sure our, our instance is still working. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to repaste our meta code here. So this is our meta code. I just want to make sure that uh, nothing got kind of screwed up here on our instance. And it looks like it maybe did. Let's see. All right. So now it looks like it's failing to run the code. So I'm going to, I'm going to pause this for a second. Let's just, all right. I just had to launch a new, uh, a new file here, reinstall the Pi game, uh, library it just took about two seconds. So, uh, I, I don't know if it was the Claude code that caused something there or if it was a replit issue. So we're just going to go ahead and, uh, retry the, uh, the Claude code just to make sure it gets its fair shake. All right. So let's see here. So it looks like the Claude code is working. Let's just double check. I'll let this score. We'll just make sure it relaunches. All right, here we go. So uh, Claude did work. It just took a second. So that's good to know. So now let's go back. Oh, there's our kind of broken one. All right, we're going to stop that. And then last but not least, uh, let's see. So it looks like for whatever reason, uh, Copilot was still running maybe. Um, the thing I, I, I'm not a fan about Copilot is I'm trying to scroll down here to look at this code and kind of what happens a lot is that it just goes straight into search, which I'm not, not a fan of in Copilot. So I don't think this, um, I don't think this ran right all the way through. So let's just double, let's double check here. Yeah, definitely didn't. There's only 21 lines of code. Um, I don't think that's it. So let's just go ahead. We're going to rerun. Let's just go ahead and rerun this prompt. And we'll give it, uh, we'll give it a second here. So, so far, here's, here's what we found. Different ones kind of work, right? So um, Gemini just kind of failed. Uh, I think Meta's did actually, like Llama 3 actually did fairly well. Uh, ChatGPT was was fine. It was a little slow. Uh, Claude's, it worked eventually, but the first time we ran it, it kind of tweaked something out. But again, I don't know. That could have been a problem with Replit. Uh, could have been an issue with Claude. And for whatever reason here, uh, you, you know, Copilot is taking its sweet time. Uh, I, I do kind of want to wait to see, but I don't want this video to go on for so long. So I'm going to pause this one again. All right. just I just clicked refresh here um, on this Copilot window, and now we're off and running. So uh, we'll see here how long. Hopefully, again, 
it's it's with copilot the the ux is a little weird because sometimes if you scroll too far like you saw uh then it brings up the search and i think that's what was causing uh this generation to not finish so uh it's, it's one thing about using copilot here in the browser not a huge fan of it is very uh sometimes finicky especially like my mouse right it scrolls kind of quickly uh so let's give it a second here uh looks like it should almost be done i don't want to scroll uh, too much here. So let's see. It should be done here in a second. All right. I think we're done. Okay. So now I'm just going to copy this. Let's go back into our Replit instance. We're going to paste that code in. We're going to click run. We're going to see if we got anything from Microsoft Copilot. So it looks like, oh, it looks like it wasn't closed. So I don't think this copilot one is going to run. I don't think it finished generating. It might not have been done. Let me scroll very slowly. No, I think I think it finished. So I don't I don't believe we're going to try one more time. I don't believe the copilot instance. Yeah, still 90 uh 98 lines there. So it didn't work. So here's the uh the final kind of verdict so to speak. Uh is there a winner here? Uh, maybe, I mean, I think llama three was actually the only, uh, the only one that ran first time, no issues. Uh, so chat GPT ran first time. It was a little slow, um, like almost like unusable. Uh, Gemini just did not work. And again, so I'm using, uh, yeah, I'm using Gener uh, Gemini enterprise. So I'm using the paid version. Uh, so the free version of meta did great. Uh, Gemini enterprise, the paid version failed. Uh, chat gpt plus it worked it was just very slow so i could have you know tweaked that prompt and got it to work uh claude it worked eventually but the first time it really just crashed our instance and we had to do a uh, completely new run so that might have been a replit issue i'm not sure so claude did work kind of uh and then microsoft copilot was the one that failed uh, i guess the biggest so uh, i know that was a longer one i thought it'd be fun to look at the coding capabilities of the new meta's new open ish source model llama 3 i hope this is helpful if so go to your every AI.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. Let me know also in the comments here. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, but let me know if you'd like to see more head-to-head -head comparisons like this. Uh, so see you back for another and five. Thanks, y'all.